Team Jackson, what's happening? So I just did a live stream and I saw this comment and I want to answer before I head out real quick. But a woman asked me, D, why is it that a guy will instantly go cold without warning, without anything even really going wrong? Why is it that a guy will instantly go cold on you? Now, I'm just going to assume she's basically talking about in a dating situation when you and a guy seemingly are getting close, things are seemingly progressing, and then boom, he just falls off. Not physically, but the conversation stops. The text message replies start to, you know, get longer and longer. Maybe he don't even want to link up for something sexual. Like, he really just kind of falls back and his interest kind of falls back and there's really no explanation. There's a few reasons, right? really four reasons why a guy would typically do that. And they're not all super malicious. Like the first one is a guy may really be going through a difficult season in his life and it's taking a toll on his mental health. I know every time you know we hear mental health, we think it's a cop out, but let's not invalidate the mental health of men because a lot of guys do struggle with anxiety, do struggle with depression and all other types of mental health battles. And sometimes the way a guy would try to handle it is by withdrawing by focusing all this energy on just getting up every day, making it through the day. And that means no text messages, no linking up. Maybe he's not as engaging whenever you guys do talk. That does not justify how he handles it. It's not to say that you should tolerate it because we mentioned men mental health. You know, I've said before that even if you're a victim of trauma, that doesn't give you the right to go and create more victims of trauma. And the same thing goes for when it comes to mental health battles, but so you don't personalize it. All right. So the second reason why a guy may go instantly cold on you out of nowhere without warning is because something you did or something you said has hurt him, but he's too embarrassed to admit it. Maybe he feels like that'll make him look soft. Or maybe you guys had an agreement that, you know, you're just talking, you're just dating so he can do him. You can do you. But whenever you actually go out and start doing you, when you actually on them Instagram stories getting turned up or you actually on the date with somebody, you know, and then you see that Rolex watch across from you with the $200 dinner or something like that, it really touches a nerve. Like it hurts. It hurts deep down in his stomach. But instead of saying that, again, because he's probably too embarrassed, he just goes cold and he tries to match your perceived level of detachment or tries to force himself to be detached so he don't feel it as much so he can stop those feelings and stop himself from falling in love or stop himself from feeling jealous. Or maybe because he wants to get your attention and that should bring you in to have the conversation about why he's withdrawing and therefore now you guys can both kind of take that step forward, which again is a very childish, immature way of handling things but it is what it is. Now, the third reason why a guy may go instantly cold on you, and this is kind of trifling on this one, is because that whole going cold thing is the new ghost. Instead of physically disappearing off the radar, never hearing from a person again, the new way of going ghost is to mentally and emotionally shut down. And what that does for a dude, and I think women do this as well, by the way, but what that does for a person is it allows them to not look like the bad guy. And by not looking like the bad guy, you don't have to worry about retaliation. You don't even have to fear that that burned bridge is going to be permanent because it's more of a question mark, you know, if he just shut down or just kind of fell back in terms of his his interest as he, he's expressing and things like that. And yes, he should be able to communicate that. But again, we're talking about somebody who is self-serving, you know, kind of looking out for their own interests. Now, the fourth reason is actually kind of similar. Why a guy will go cold out of nowhere without warning. And that's because... He's patched things up with somebody else more serious or somebody on his team, somebody or some other dating prospect got more serious in the time that he was getting to know you and dating you. But he's not so confident in it. So he's still one foot in and one foot out, put you on ice and reinvest that energy into that while not completely letting you go. Super manipulative, super gaslighting, no doubt about it. But that's what that in that situation, you'll see a dude pop up with a baby or pop up, you know, with an engagement one or two weeks after y'all last talked or hooked up or something like that. And it just kind of seems all of a sudden when really it's not that situation, that situation was marinating the entire time or at least the, at the tail end of y'all dealing with each other. You just didn't know nothing about it. But that's the explanation why a guy will fall back. Now, as important as it is to know why a guy would do something like this, I think it's more important to understand what to do about it. And I've been saying this for years, so I'm gonna kind of be kicking a dead horse for those of y'all who watch my videos on a regular. But first thing is you gotta have your standards high. And the second thing is you gotta have your expectations low. High standards, low expectations. High standards, it keeps you from being strung along by a lot of chemistry, but no consistency. A lot of chemistry being, yo, whenever we talk, we get along so well. He can relate to me so well. Um, it's like we're best friends. It's like he's finishing my sentences. But then the inconsistency being that ain't but so many sentences that he's finishing because y'all barely talk or y'all talk, you know, one or two, three weeks and everything good. But then he goes a week without talking to you at all, without responding to your text. And his phone was dead for nine days straight. 
You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what chemistry and no consistency looks like. But what high standard says is, you know what? I require this much communication. I require this much presence, this much availability, this much capacity to engage with me in order to keep going. And if it ain't what I'm looking for, I'm gonna keep on looking. If it ain't what I ordered, you can send it back to the kitchen. That's what high standards is. Now, low expectations, of course, it keeps you from being disappointed or having a fear of disappointment, like walking around on eggshells, tiptoeing around things, not wanting to speak up because you're scared to scare him off. And just a quick side note on that, anytime you speak up about what you're not comfortable with, it's only gonna scare off a man who's scared to love you. It's only going to run off a guy that should have been ran off from the very beginning. But when it comes to your boundaries, when it comes to your standards and your requirements, while it does run off the guy, while it does scare off the guy who's scared to love you, it's going to turn on the guy who's ready to love you. The man who's evolved past his own ego is going to communicate that you have so much respect for yourself that you're bold enough and you're confident enough to require that same level of respect from those around you. Again, this is a huge turn on to an evolved man because you're going to be a reflection of him in a relationship. Now, it says six other things, the seven total things that will turn an evolved man on like this. I already went way in depth on that on my free masterclass, The Secrets to Making an Evolved Man Crazy. So if you haven't gotten access to that yet, I just reopened registration at the link down in the caption. Get it now because it'll fill up quick. But moral of the story is this. There's a million reasons, and it's probably many I didn't even name, why a guy will go cold on you out of nowhere without warning. At the end of the day, once he shows you that, treat it like a red flag. Because the best you're going to get out of a guy that goes cold on you is a lukewarm relationship. A relationship where you get burned out trying to force something to be that you should have walked away from a long time ago. But those are just my thoughts. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Again, free registration to my masterclass, Secrets to Making an Evolved Man Crave You, where I talk a lot more about the things that an evolved man gets turned on by from a woman is at the link down in the caption on the bio wherever you see it. Get access now. I'll let y'all later. Y'all be good. Peace.